They are man's best friends, and here in the Swiss Alps they are also saving lives. Dogs are key members of the Swiss Alpine rescue teams that are dispatched when people go missing after avalanches strike. A St. Bernard named Barry was said to be the first dog to track down and lead people to safety in the 1800s. His modern-day descendants are more commonly German Shepherds, Labradors and Border Collies. The dogs and their owners must go through tough training and retraining to be sure they are up to the job. The snow is falling heavily at one practice session in Hochhebrig. Leading the team is Marcel Mayer, who is in charge of training 135 dog handling teams across Switzerland. His own poodle pincher, Inya, has assisted in many rescues but must have regular training checks just like all the rest. The animals are first on the scene with the air ambulance after an avalanche. Their keen sense of smell can help them find victims buried in up to five meters of snow. Here the animals are learning how to detect human scent and rescue their owner. At the next stage, they find another person from man-made dugouts in the snow. Speed is vital for survival. An avalanche victim found within 15 minutes of being buried in snow has a 90% chance of survival. But once the clock ticks past 30 minutes, their chances drop by 30%. Mayer joined the Swiss Alpine Rescue Service 21 years ago. I'm a mountain guide. A long time, I, I, I go in the mountains, a long time, and I work with dogs since I'm 15 years old. So I bring that together. I go in the mountains, I can help other people for rescue, and, uh, and work with the dog. That's the reason. This year, there have been 16 new recruits to join the service. Thomas Fuchslin and his German shepherd, Baran, on their first day. Baran is a quick learner. Another beginner, Martin Huviller, waits to be rescued inside the dugout in the snow during a practice run. Once the hole is covered, it is absolutely silent. But gradually, you can hear the distant sound of a dog barking. And then there is the sweet sound of scraping snow. And finally, the four-legged hero breaks through. The smell of a sausage treat from inside proves too much for him and he jumps in. Joining up requires serious commitment. The all-volunteer forest must have good fitness levels, be excellent skiers, have an understanding employer who allows them to leave work and join search parties within five minutes of being paged, and of course they must own a dog. Martin Huviller, who works as a farmer, says he is interested in joining up because one day he might be in a position to help family and friends who go skiing. His first day finally over, he says he will have to think long and hard about whether he and his Labrador puppy Pedro have a natural instinct for this arduous but very rewarding service.